Hi, welcome back to Physics uh, 150 uh, tutorial number 7. This is under electromagnetism, okay? Uh, but this one is electro uh, magnetic induction, okay? Electro magnetic induction, okay? So electromagnetic induction is using magnetic field to induce voltage, okay? To induce voltage, okay? So look at tutorial 7. Question number one. Okay, question number one. Now the current in the coil changes from two ampere. So we have two current here. Current initially two ampere. Final current is fifteen ampere. And all this happen in a time of uh, seventy millisecond. Okay, seventy millisecond delta t. As a result, an EMF of five volt. Because of that changes. It produces an EMF, this is called the induced EMF, yeah? equal to 5 volt is induced in the coil. Calculate the surf inductance of the coil. So what is the formula used? Okay, so the formula that involves uh, the changes like that is uh, this one. Okay, our induced okay, current, we actually have uh, uh, two formula. One is the rate of uh, change of magnetic flux okay uh, the rate of change of magnetic flux this one okay and another one is uh, negative l d i d t the rate of change of current okay your current changes you produce emf your magnetic flux changes you produce emf but since your given current changes so we are using this one okay so the induced EMF is this one, negative 5, okay, negative 5. So we normally uh, just take the magnitude only. Yeah? So the magnitude of our induced EMF is L D I D T. Uh, or you can also use delta I over delta T in case you don't have a function of I's in the variable T. Now, this one we know is given 5, L unknown. The channel current is 15 minus 2. And then the uh, time is 70 millisecond. Okay, so it's a very short time. Okay, now our inductance will be 5 times 70 milli. Okay, and then divide by 13. Right, so we have 0 0.027. 0 0.027. Zero uh, oh, sorry, 27. To seven Henry. That's a unit for inductance. Yeah. Okay. Next. Number two. A steady current of six ampere. I. Okay. In a coil of number of turns one two zero zero, causes a flux. Okay. Of flux is this one. Yeah? Causing a flux of ten to the power minus four Weber. To pass through the loops of the coil. Now find the inductance of the coil. So what's the formula here? Okay, what's the formula? And also you are asked to the average EMF induced in the coil if the current is stopped in 0 0.24 seconds, the energy stored in the coil. So I have to find the inductance first. So what's the formula that we can use? Inductance is L. Okay, inductance is L is equal to uh, we can actually derive that formula. Okay, we can derive that formula. See what we get. Uh, induced EMF, as we say, is equal to negative n d phi d t, and also is given by negative l uh, d i d t. Right. So both the same. So we have uh, negative l d i d t is equal to negative n d phi d t. Okay, d phi d t. Now we can cancel the T now. So our L is only N D file D I. Okay, D file D I. This one is for small changes. But if you have the value of file and the L, you can actually put in directly. So this is our first one. N is equal to one two zero zero. The flux changes ten to the power minus four, and the current is six ampere. Okay. 
So let's check. Uh, we have 1200 times 10 minus 4 and then divide by 6. Okay, you got 0 0.02. Okay, 0 0.02 Henry. That's number 1. Next, number 2. The average EMF induced in a coil if the current is stopped in 0 0.24 second. Induce EMF again, negative L D I D T. Okay. L is already calculated 0 0.02. Okay, 0 0.02. 0 0.02 current stop that means 0 minus initial current of 6 and then in a time of 0 0.24 second. Okay. So this one going to be negative. So I have 6 times 0 0.02 gone divided by 0 0.24 so we got 0 0.5 volt 0 0.50 volt okay 0 0.50 volt next one number three number three is uh, the energy store well energy store in an inductor uh, is half uh, l i square okay half l i square constant current six ampere here so half 0 0.02 and then current is 6 square okay so i have 36 multiply 0 0.01 so i have 0 0.36 joule okay 0 0.36 joule okay done question two next question three question three is a flexible circular loop of radius okay there's a radius of 3.0 meter Flexible line in the magnetic field okay, of 0 0.5 Tesla. It is oriented so that its plan is perpendicular. So that means let's say the magnetic field is pointing into the paper. Okay, and then you have a coil, a flexible coil. Okay. There is a coil here. Okay, a coil is here. Circular coil. And this is a radius R, there is a radius R, ah, like that. Perpendicular. The plan is perpendicular. If the area of the loop suddenly changes to zero, suddenly disappear from A, okay, initial equal to pi R square, become A final equal to zero. And this thing happen in a time of uh, 0 0.1 second, okay. Determine induced EMF, well, same thing. What is the formula for uh, induced EMF? Now, we have to use a uh, related to the surface area. Yeah? So now our induced EMF is negative N uh, D file DT. That is the formula. Okay, But we know that uh, the file, this one, magnetic flux, is actually equal to uh, B times A cosine theta okay okay b times a cosine theta but we want it to be maximum value okay the maximum value so this one is normally equal to one yeah okay? equal to one uh because the 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 angle between the magnetic field and the surface area is zero okay you see magnetic field surf, uh magnetic fields in or out doesn't matter and then the surface area is like that Okay, surface area vector, not surface area here, vector is pointing out here. Yeah? So it's either 180 or 0 degree. So cosine is either plus 1 or negative 1. But since this one is producing uh, alternating current, it doesn't matter positive or negative. Now, since uh, this one is constant, we change this one. Then this one is changing. So we have negative NB, okay, DA, DT, or negative NB, a final minus a initial and delta t all right so that's an induced value now i didn't say it said a flexible circular loop there's only one turns one in the magnetic field of 0 0.5 surface area changes from zero and then pi r square that one is three meter okay pi r square right divide by the time of 0 0.1 second okay let's check what's the value here so it should be pi okay, times 9 times 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.1. So it's a 141. Okay. 
141 volt. Alright. Hmm. So, done. Question 3. Next. Question 4. The current in a coil of 400 turns. Okay, 400 turns changes from 0 to 4 ampere in a time of 3 seconds and induce an EMF of 1.0 volt. Okay, calculate number 1, the inductance of the coil. So we use this formula L uh, D I D T. Okay, L D I D T. So this one uh, we take the magnitude on here. Okay, magnitude. So induced EMF magnitude is L D I D T. This is one volt inductance is what you need to calculate. Changes in current is four minus zero in a time of uh, three seconds. All right. So L is three over four, which is zero point seven five Henry. Okay, zero point seven five Henry. Number two. Number two, the change in magnetic flux to the coil. Change in magnetic flux to the coil, we use another formula, and d flux dt. So our d flux is equal to negative epsilon divided by n and multiplied by this. So change in flux is delta this one. So our time is changed to delta t. So this one is 1 and is 400. And this one is 3 seconds. So we have 3 divided by 400. Okay, 3 divided by 400. So I get 7.5. Okay, 7.5 negative 7.5 times 10 to the power negative 3. Okay, negative 3. But we only take the magnitude only. Okay, we take the magnitude. Uh, no problem. Yeah? So magnitude of the changes is equal to 7.5. 10 to the power minus 3. Weber. Okay, Weber. Next, the energy store in the coil. Okay, energy store in the coil. El is equal to half L I square. Okay, half L is uh, 0 0.75, and then the last current is four square. Okay, we have uh, 16 divided by two times 0 0.75. So we have six joule of energy store in the inductor all right next last question five a 0 0.5 tesla magnetic field is perpendicular to a circular loop of wire okay so let's assume magnetic field point like that into the paper so this magnetic field is 0 0.50 tesla and a circular loop is here okay so that is a circular loop now given that the uh, given the wire with radius of 0. Point, uh, of 2 has 70 turns uh, let me see given the wire with radius okay it means that this wire loop okay it has a radius of uh, 23 centimeter okay and then uh, the number of turns n is equal to 70. Calculate its induced EMF if the magnetic field is reduced to zero in. Okay, so magnetic field initially is 0 0.50 Tesla. The final magnetic field is zero and this happened in a time of 0 0.42 seconds. All right, so we're going to use the same formula here as this one here. So epsilon induced is equal to negative n d phi dt and is equal to uh, d this one is b a cosine theta and again this one is one negative n a so now we have d b d t or the changes of magnetic field b final minus b initial divided by time changes okay number of turns 70 area you have to calculate pi r square and what's the r r is 23 right times 0 0.23 square and the changes 0 minus 0 0.5 and then a time of 0 0.42 seconds okay all right so we have 70 times uh, pi times 0 0.23 square and then times 0 0.5 again 
divide by 0 0.42 okay so answer is 13.8 no more negative already eh? 13.8 volts okay done that's it for your tutorial number seven okay